Good morning and welcome to Science Subject. The topic is all about force and motion. So for this study, our objective is to identify the different types of forces and the effects on the motion of the object. So we're going to define what force is and what motion is. So to continue, a force is a kind of push or pull. It acts on the object as a result of its interaction with another object. So two objects are interacting with this one. So force can be viewed as any influence capable of producing change in the state of motion of the object. Later, you're going to see it. So what are those changes can force to do to motion? Number one, force can make the object move from starting from move starting from the rest position. So if the object is not moving and then you apply force on it, then the object will start to move from starting going to the rest position. Second is that the force can make the object stop. If the object is moving and then there's a uh, force applied to it, then the object will stop from moving. So force can also change the direction of the moving object. How? As you the one controlling the force, then you have the ability to change or to manipulate the direction of the object where it wants to go by applying force to it. So remember the focus is about force and motion. Force is measured in Newton and that's the unit used. And one newton is equivalent to one kilogram meter per second square. So force may not always cause an object to move. Remember that, especially if there is one or more than one force present. So in this case, the for uh, the presence the presence of another force may cancel the effect of the other one. For what means? If both of them are applying the same amount of force then therefore forces may be balanced or unbalanced so what's the difference between the two if the sum of all zero or forces is zero then the net force is zero and that is balanced why balance look at the car here in the picture both of the fingers are pushing the car in opposite direction with the same force on it so to conclude the car will not move or the car Still. For what reason? Because both of the fingers are exerting the same forces. So if there's a net force in this case, then we call it unbalanced force. Look at the picture. Error representing the amount of forces they are applying to one another. The red exert 4 newton going to the left and the other one exerting 10 newton going to the right. So based on how long the arrows representing forces, the blue one get a greater force. Then therefore, if you want to get the, um, the amount of forces, you just need to subtract 10 to 4. Then you will get 6 Newton in the direction since the blue one has a greater force, then the direction will be in favor of it going to the right. So the pictures that are uh, exerting a greater amount of force here with two dogs, if they have the same forces, then still not going to move. But if one of the dog or dogs happen to pull harder, then the direction of the force will be in favor of the dog who got a greater or exerting greater force. So where are the types of forces? Let's see. Forces are classified into two basic types. Number one is how they are applied. And number two, how they act to the other object. They are divided into two. One is called contact force. Obviously, it is a contact force because it requires physical contact between two objects. Like in the picture, the man holding the object and the man exerts a push force 
to make this push cart move. Another example is this one. So the boy pulling the cart and then the cart moves to the direction where the greater force acting on. Same thing with this. You kick the ball up, then the ball will move up. So here are the different types. Kind of contact force. Number one is called applied force. Applied force is the kind of force that you apply to the object, whether that is a simple pull or push. The second one is called the normal force. It is a support force exerted upon an object that is in contact with another stable object. Another an object that doesn't move on top of it, the force is on the surface, like what you see in the picture, between the box and the surface of the table. The arrows representing where are the direction of the forces. The forces are equal because the object on top of the table is still not moving. Next is called the frictional force, force that opposes the motion of the object. The reason why you can walk, the reason why you can create fire, because friction is a force that opposes emotion. If you want to push the sofa going to that direction, it will be hard for you if there is a greater frictional force. It means if the surface of the floor is rough, then it will be hard for you because the force or this friction stops this sofa to move. Same thing when you're walking, you're not sliding because of the friction. Another special type of friction is called the air resistance. It happens or this frictional force happens when the object is traveling through air. Like when you go on this kind of force. Next, let's say there's no air resistance. So based on the experiment done by scientists, when there's no air resistance force, whether the object is light or heavy, they will reach the ground or they will both reach the ground in the same time. The same time. Next, another contact force is called contentional force. It is a kind of force which is just transmitted through a string, rope, or wire. Whenever they are being pulled tightly, so the forces will act on it. They are using that particular uh, idea in making hanging bridge. Next, tug of war. Another type of contact force is called the spring force. So the spring force is exerted by spring whenever you compress it or it is being stretched. Then spring force is applied. What about the other types of forces? Other types may include the non-contact forces. So what are those? When we talk about non-contact forces, then forces, they are the kind of forces that do not require physical contact. But the forces are there, only that can see it, but it's acting. Like number one, the gravity. It always pulls the object downward towards the center of the Earth. What we have. It is also known as weight. Another non-contact force is, of course, whether that is the uh, force from electricity or magnetic. Combining them together is called electrical or magnetic, electromagnetic force. Again, force that exists between charges is electrical. Then, if that is attractive or repulsive, then that is magnetic. So, hope you learned something from this topic. This is it. Goodbye, everyone. See you again next meeting.